Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to share with you 5 Photoshop tips to help improve your portrait editing. If you haven't seen it yet, I also have a video with 5 Lightroom tips to help improve your portrait editing as well, so please have a look at it if you haven't already, I'll leave a link in the description below for you, but let's get into the Photoshop tips. My first tip is to set your white balance. Setting your white balance is the first thing you should do to any image in order to balance out any lighting conditions that might be affected your skin tones. When you open up a raw image in Photoshop, it should open up the raw editing panel. If it doesn't, simply find your image in Adobe Bridge and press Command Enter. Now you can adjust your temperature and tint and then open up your photo in Photoshop. Bonus tip, while you're in the raw editing panel, adjust any over or underexposed areas of your images as it's better to do this in the raw file. You want a clean, balanced image to start working on. Number two is the spot healing brush. Use the spot healing brush tool to remove any blemishes or distracting things in your image. The spot healing brush tool automatically samples parts of the image to replace with what you're brushing over, so it's really, really simple to use. My only advice is to work on small sections at a time and only make the brush slightly bigger than the area you're trying to remove. If you want to watch a more detailed video about professional skin retouching, I'll link my tutorial about that in the description below for you. Number three is to dodge and burn. There are so many uses for the dodge and burn tool, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using it to define our subject and bring attention to certain parts of our image. Let's start with the dodge tool, which brightens areas that you brush over. Set the range to mid-tones, the exposure to 20%, and make sure you have a soft brush and that the protect tones box is ticked. Now let's start lightly brushing over areas of the image where light would naturally fall on, such as over the nose, over the eyes, on the forehead, the cheekbones, the arms, and part of the background. On the same layer, let's move on to the burn tool, which darkens areas that you brush over. Once again, we'll use a soft brush at opacity 20, our range sets to mid-tones and protect tones ticked. Let's use single clicks to brush over our cheekbones, the hair, the eyebrows, and any part of the image that you want to darken. Last but not least, let's set our burn tool range to shadows, and with a nice large brush, click over every part of the image to add some overall contrast. Now let's bring down the opacity of this dodge and burn layer down until we're happy with the results. Number four is color balance. Use the color balance tool to easily give your photo a style by altering the colors in the highlights, midtones, and shadows. You can either keep this looking natural or add a bit of personality to your image with some more creative editing. Let's take this photo for example. I wanna give this a warmer look, so let's start in the midtones. I'm going to bring the slider down into the yellows, then add a little bit of pink and a tiny bit of cyan. With the highlights, I'm going to do something similar by adding more yellows into the image as well as some pinks. In the shadows, let's add some blues and reds to offset the yellow tones and balance out our color grading. Number five is to use a gradient. Use a gradient to stylize your image. Create a new adjustment layer by selecting Gradient and select what colors you want to add to your images. You can either create your own colors by changing the color palette in Photoshop or you can select the pre-made colors within the Gradient tool. Once you've selected your color, you can change the angle of the gradient, change the scale so it fills more or less of the image, or you can click on the gradient in the image and move it around with your mouse to position it exactly where you want it. To blend it in with your image, change your layer blending mode to either overlay or soft light, whichever one you prefer, and slide down the opacity until you're happy with the results. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my Photoshop tips to help improve the way that you edit portraits. Please let me know if any of these tips stood out to you and that you're going to try them next time that you're editing. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you all later. Bye.